Why, hello. My name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while, guys. I cannot... I meant to keep doing videos, but if you have followed me, you know I started this channel in the spring, and then we moved from Ohio to Indiana. It just was a lot bigger move than I had thought it would be in terms of four kids now and all the things that come with them. And then I wanted to focus on getting our home set up. I also homeschool, so I had that too. If you guys follow me, Quilting for Four on Instagram, you know, I've been very active on there because it's on the fly. I can just grab my phone. I don't have to edit. I can just start talking, start sharing. I've also come out with two patterns <laughs> um, since we had moved. And this one behind me is my next one that's coming out actually it's the second one and it'll be coming out on November 1st, so that's Monday. I am in love with this pattern. Um, before I start talking about the pattern, I am hoping to get back to my goal of a video every two weeks, maybe every week, that would be ideal. Um, and we'll just see how that goes. So this pattern behind me is called Falling Snow Quilt and it was inspired once again by my love of the seasons. You guys know that I have made more seasonal quilts than any other kind. But post Christmas, I just don't have anything really. <laughs> I have a few quilts, um, but I need more because I like to have quilts that are on our beds. I like to have quilts all around the sofa. And so I thought, you know, I need a post Christmas quilt. I need a winter quilt. And in Indiana, like Ohio, our winters are very long and we still have snow March and April. So I thought, you know what? I want to come up with a snowflake quilt, something that's just fun, something that could be done in Christmas because, you know, I love Christmas fabric, but then that could also just be done in winter colors so that it's not, it has an extended life. Um, sometimes I know people don't like to make seasonal quilts because there kind of is a short window, especially for like the smaller seasons. But for a winter quilt, you can put it out for Christmas and you could keep it out all the way through March and April. And that's how this one came about. For the first version that I made, I used a Christmas fabric. <laughs> and it is Cozy and Joyful by Marine Cracknell for Art Gallery Fabrics. I loved this line since it came out last year. They have since done a follow-up line called Cozy and Magical, which is equally as gorgeous. Um, this one I loved so much, I bought two fat quarter bundles last year and it had been waiting, waiting for the right pattern. And when I came up with this, I knew hands down, that's what I was gonna use. I didn't use all of them because it just uses uh, some fat quarters from a bundle. The pattern comes in four sizes, two colorways. So this is the modern one uh, where you use different fabrics for each snowflake. And then there is also the two colorway traditional version. So you would just do snowflakes one color, background another color. And I made another version using the traditional method. Uh, so I'll show that next. But let me go ahead and flip this around and talk to you about the quilt. Right, there is the quilt. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this pattern so much. The varieties that you can make, the variations, I cannot wait to see. It was so tough deciding what to use. But like I said, this line I had been saving forever. Now, the quilting on here, you can see, is just everything. I wanted wind blowing. I wanted snow blowing. And Lynn came up with this. It is called Westward Wind. She found it for me. It's a panto. And it's just stunning. Lynn sews and quilts. She's on Facebook and Instagram. I met her in Ohio. And she is such a talented long armor. And she just honestly never disappoints. I love the movement that this quilt has because of the quilting itself. Now let's talk about the pattern. It is written for fat quarters and it is written for quarter yard cuts. If you didn't want to tap into a fat quarter bundle or you didn't have one, you just wanted to use select pieces from a line. This is Cozy and Joyful by Marine Cracknell and it's just stunning. Look at that floral. So pretty. Now these have kind of um, a little bit more muted tone, some of them. Her line is just super soft and really delicate. So I liked that. But then what I also added was for the corners, I chose some of the more bold prints. 
so that you kind of have the grounding in the corners. Now, this is one of those quilts that, you know, it's kind of hard to see on video, but in person, it's just stunning because you've got the, uh, you know, more delicate snowflakes in the center, and then you have the bold snowflakes on the corners. That is just super fun. And like I said, the combinations you can do. Now, the other thing that is about this pattern that I love, these corners, it just gave it a little bit of extra oomph to it, I guess you could say. It makes it fun. Now, I chose to do all four corners the same color. You could absolutely make it scrappy. You could do light ones. Um, I had a tester who almost just did a little bit of a contrast and um, it looked just as fantastic. Again, one of those quilts that you would have to see in person to really appreciate the detail here. But I am in love with this pattern so much. Then for the binding, good classic stripe. You know I love a stripe. The stripe binding, I think, is such a nice touch because the gray matches this gray. It's kind of subtle. It's not such a busy quilt. It just frames it out really well. I have a collection of stripe bindings that I use all the time. And when I find an interesting stripe, I'll buy it just to have it for a binding. And then I actually have a binding stash with pre-made bindings. So the fantastic thing about this quilt was that when it came back, I just looked at my pre-made bindings. Um, sometimes I'll just sit and, you know, make a few and then store them. And it was made. So I just had to attach it. Now for the back of this quilt, I used a Lux Cuddle Minky. There's a peek. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and talk about that. This is the backing. It is Shannon Fabrics Lux Cuddle Minky, and it's gorgeous. I love using minky backings. I have used more minky than I think any other kind. Now the Lux Cuddle is this extra plush, and then you can see snowflakes. This was their embossed collection, and it had snowflakes. Could it get any better than that? I was so thrilled when I found this one. It was just meant to be. I also love the way it quilts up. You can actually see the swirls, the snowflakes, the designs. It's really just a fantastic fabric to have uh, for a backing. It makes it extra warm. It makes it extra cozy. It's got a nice weight. Uh, like I said, especially for our winters here, Minky just really makes a quilt extra super functional and the texture it provides is amazing.
guys, here is the two color version. The kids are currently downstairs having a play date, and so I came out to our sunroom. The leaves in the background are gorgeous, but look at these two colors. Isn't that stunning? Let me back up here a bit so you can see the whole quilt. I can't, like, the two color version is so exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna be putting up some photos later on because it is kind of hard to get um, an accurate, ah, see I'm turning on the light, still not working. It's hard to get an accurate picture in here because the forest and everything is so bright. But this is like a jewel tone. It's an emerald color. This is showing it a little bit better. Um, I wanted it to be this deep, kind of rich color because I wanted it to be a winter quilt. The white that I wanted is not a pure white, it's white linen. It's art gallery fabrics, pure solids. This quilting is another edge to edge. It was, um, I forget the name, but another custom one by Lynn Sews. She was able to change the pattern so that a snowflake was almost centered in each one of the snowflakes here. And I loved that touch. It is always so much fun to collaborate with Lynn because she's so talented. I use Zambia Stone for the uh, background. And then for the snowflakes and the half square triangle corners, I used white linen. The binding, I chose just a slightly different green. Uh, it is evergreen. There you go, you can kind of see the contrast here. It was kind of a story in its own. I wanted to do clear thread because the quilting is actually done in clear monofilament thread. And I had never used that before. But when I was talking with Lynn about the overall look of the quilt I wanted, I didn't want to do green because the green would contrast on the white. I didn't want to do white because the white would contrast on the green. And I really just wanted this pattern to shine. So she suggested doing clear thread. I had seen a couple other modern quilters do the clear thread with uh, custom quilting and it just was stunning. I love the way it turned out and it had been on my bucket list to go ahead and try using one of those. I am super thrilled with how gorgeous it turned out because the texture, look at that, is just stunning and it looks fantastic all the way around. So I wanted to use that for here as well, but I didn't have any. So I went to Joanne Fabrics to go and get some, and um, you know, when I got home and I opened it up, it just wasn't the quality that I was hoping for. I could easily tear it in my hands. And these quilts, we use them, we wash them, the kids play with them. I wanted it to, be stronger than that. So at the end of the day, I decided to go ahead and use this green. Let me show you. It's what I had. Um, it's not, I'm trying to get a good light here. There we go. It wasn't a perfect match, but it was off just a hair. And it reminded me of when I started quilting. The person who got me to really feel confident was Jenny from Missouri Star Quilt Company because her mantra always was, finish is better than perfect. And that's kind of what this ended up being better or happening for me, it was a reminder because I kept trying to make that binding perfect, I thought, and at the end of the day, I didn't really need it. It just needed to be finished. So I went ahead and I finished it, and I love this quilt. It is probably one of my favorite patterns that I have written to date. Um, I really love my sweater quilt. We just wrapped up that quilt along, but this is another one that's just up there. The half square triangles really just give it something extra. And honestly, I can't wait for it to be released so I can see all the versions. So many people were messaging about the different options that they wanted to make, and I cannot wait to see them. Well, and that is it for today's video. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.